Do, 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 do. What's good, dude? Nothing. What's uh, hold on? What's 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 good with you? How was how was Paris? Uh, pa Paris Paris was good, but um, you know how, how have you how have you been living since uh since our last discussion? Well, you see, I got a mustache, so must be doing pretty good. Is oh wait, that's new. I I don't think I had it last time. Oh, chat. It's quiet. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Alright. <clears throat> um <sighs> Listen, I just watched your review. Wait, wait, wait. I have some questions. I I know you just watched my review. Okay, okay you, you know, can, Okay, you can yeah, go ahead, go you, ahead. You can do your little intro. I just want to ask you some questions before we actually like start debating everything. Okay, yeah, go, yeah, go ahead. Okay. So all right, here's here's some preliminary questions. Just just to sort of like get I want to get your sense. I actually didn't watch you reacting to the review. So I, I did that last time. I didn't want to do that this time because I just wanted to kind of get, uh, you know, I, I wanted to hear your thoughts in real time. So I wanted okay. to know, so wh where do you feel like this record for you, where does it rank in Drake's overall discography? Is it like one of his best records? Is it like top three, top five? Like wh where do you feel like it sits for you in terms of like all of his other records? <clears throat> I think... I think as far as like the the albums where he's basically just rapping for the most part. Mm -hmm. Uh like if you're reading this is too late, what a time mm -hmm. those mm -hmm. uh I mean I got this above what a time to be alive right now. Okay. I got this above that. I don't know if as in all his albums I that's like an impossible that's like an impossible thing. Where do you rank it? I mean, uh, I, I I don't I don't rank it low. I think it's pretty good in his overall discography. Um, you know, I would I would say it's around in sort of like a take care ballpark. You know, but but like you say, it's kind of a different. It's a, it's a, it's for way different reasons than I like take care. You know what I mean? It's it's you you kind of you kind of have as as you kind of already said. You almost have to kind of rank it along the same lines that you would. What a time to be alive. And, and, and yeah, I kind of almost like it a little more than that. Even though I maybe rated them on the same plane, it is a longer and a bigger and a more robust record. There's a lot more going on in it. What a Time to Be Alive does have some bangers, but it's kind of a shorter project. Uh, this, this one has a lot more going for it as far as like, you know, all, you know, overall like runtime and, and material. So um, if that's the case, if that's the case and you have, uh, you have it like with take care and what it's, um, or did you say it's if you're reading this too late? I, I like it less than that, but I, I you know, uh, I, I still enjoy it. Hold on, I, I, I have a couple more, just like yeah, quick yeah, questions. okay, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I, I let me you, hold on, hold on, one you, second. I need to get a notepad real quick. I'm, I'm gonna forget this. Yeah. Go ahead. What do you have? Do you have a favorite track and a least favorite track? Um, you know what. I I really like I can't decide that I really can't pick it, um, but one track that I saw you didn't like, hours in silence. That's one of my favorites. So that's where we're gonna, oh. uh, you know, that's okay. We we can get into that. And um, do you? So do you? Have you memorized a melody from the album? A one, just one, a single one. Several. So okay, so several. nice. Several. Nice. And, and would you say, okay, and here's two more questions, two more questions, mm -hmm. two more questions. Mm -hmm. Have you taken this album on a Drake and Drive yet? <laughs> Has this album been on a Drake and Drive? Uh, it's, it's been on a few. Okay, it's been on right. a few already. Um, how, do you feel, how do you feel like this record compares with other Drake and Drives? And matter of fact, because uh, as you know, I was in Paris. This was actually yeah. a... Uh, this was a Drake in flight, to be honest. Whoa, it went, it went on the plane? Was it was yeah. on a plane? It wow. Was okay, so. I listened to the, and, and, and anyone who's flown wow. and listened to music knows wow. uh, it, shit hits different in the in midair, bro. Right? right, right, right. Absolutely. It hits different in midair. So, but yeah, no, go ahead. Um, okay, last last question before you tear into me. Um, in, in our little dynamic that we have going on, who do you feel like is Drake and who do you feel like is 21 Savage? <laughs> Listen, 
What? That's an impossible. It's, it's a seri- no, it's not. It's a serious question. That's an who do you, impossible like, who question. Is, who is Drake and who is Twenty One Savage between the both of us? Listen, dude. What? <sighs> Drake and Twenty One Savage work together, bro. Okay, we're working Kuminati together. Or... We, we've we've done we've done technically we've done more collabs <laughs> than Drake and Twenty One Savage. No, like, I, I, th- I think I think I think we could I think we'd answer this question. Yeah, but not on that. purpose, though. Like, I'm, I, I was. <laughs> not on purpose. It started like, off very. Angry. I literally scheduled this into my fucking calendar. It couldn't be more on purpose. No, listen, listen. Now I get it, cause I need, like, yeah. But I'm saying when it happened, I was very angry, bro. I- I'm still, I'm still angry because I'm like, dude, what the, f- what the <laughs> fuck does Drake have to do? For, wait, who is, who is rating, Drake dude. though? Who is Drake? I want to know who's Drake. We cannot, we cannot, we cannot continue until we until we finish this question. Dude, who's Drake? Who's twenty one? <laughs> dude, ob- dude, obviously, obviously, you're twenty one in this in this scenario. Oh, okay, okay. Obviously, okay. you're twenty one in this scenario. Like, it's obviously. not. No, you know, what? I'll be twenty one, bro. Fine, you can have it because you. I think you like love Drake, bro. I you know, know. Uh, listen, listen. I, I would, I would, I would give it. I would give you Drake aesthetically. I think aesthetically, you're Drake, and I'm 21. But I feel, I feel like on a core level, I feel like on a core level, I'm Drake because because I'm a Scorpio. Yeah. I'm I'm more I'm more sensitive than you. I'm more sensitive. I mean, I'm more that's sen- the I'm more sensitive boy. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, <laughs> dude, I don't have a third. I don't have, I don't have a third one. I don't have a third one. Um. Before we actually even talk about the album, um, <clears throat> listen, I uh, to be honest, what? I didn't I didn't appreciate the words that you had for Drake. Mm. Uh, the uh, and you know, this happened like a couple months ago, maybe. I didn't appreciate yeah. it. Do you do you mean do you mean with the with the DMs thing? Yeah, where where you where you forged DMs? Yeah. And made people believe that Drake was sending you cookie recipes in the in the uh, wee hours of the morning. Well, I, I didn't appreciate what he said to me. He he rated my existence a light one. He brought up um, the, for some reason the the, ra- the race of a partner and uh, and then rated me a light one again. And and I thought that that was I thought that I thought that that was kind of kind of mean and and a gross thing to do and say in in the middle of the night on a Wednesday. So what's meaner, doing like an inside joke with you? In that, private, not, there was no joke. That was not a joke. There it was not inside. There was, was no inside, inside joke. There. It was. There was just. That was just being. That was just him being overtly bitter. Dude, I don't. I don't see it like that. I. 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 I don't see it like that, bro. And I don't know. And then, but listen, what's no, no? Answer this though. What's meaner, that, or literally making up an insane, like, what? What I did was literally an inside joke. Because nobody, nobody, nobody who has this working up here would actually think that Drake sent me a cookie recipe. I created an inside joke between me and him. Hey, guess because, what? Guess yeah, what? Because, because me and my again, brother were sitting there. He's like, yo, dude, Drake sent Fantana a, Dra- a, a cookie recipe. I'm like, what? 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 Like, of every, you're, you literally are obsessed with Drake. What makes you think with everything that you know about Drake that he's sending anybody dude, a cookie the thing recipe is, no, the at thing midnight, is, no, at midnight on a Wednesday? Here's the thing. I'm not obsessed with Drake. I like but, Drake's but music is, and got you, very... You know, a, you, you know enough about Drake through his music and his persona to know that that is not within his How character. am I going to know what you're doing? First of all, Drake's done funny shit. I don't know. Maybe he did that. I don't know. He has never, no, he would never He would never do that. He would never do. He would never send me, of all people, a cookie recipe in the middle of the fucking night. Dude, obviously, now that you've been exposed, we know this. We know this, okay? But pre your exposure, uh, there were people running around. There were major news outlets running this story. Oh, Drake hit up his biz bet, his greatest hater, and gave him a vegan cookie recipe. So stop this. Stop this nonsense, bro. You know what the no. And you're laughing because you literally fucking, know I'm right. It was a fucking shit post. Why and then you're like, oh, dude, have, it's just a shit post, dude. Oh. should have taken it seriously. There was nothing to take seriously. Like, Drake would never send anybody a fucking cookie recipe. I guarantee it. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I mean... Drake's not even a vegan. Like, what, why would he send anybody a fucking vegan cookie recipe? You know what? You seem to know more about Drake because I don't know if he's vegan or not. How do you know this? 
I, I, I don't because people are usually vegan or loud and annoying about it. Oh man, you know. So, so yeah, I didn't appreciate that, but okay, it's fine. I, I, I you know, I think whatever. Um. So onto the onto the unless you have more, I, 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 I want to get to this review. This I, I don't have any. I don't have anything else to say. Um. You know, I, I think I think we have a good Drake and Twenty One Savage like rapport going, and uh, I'm just happy about it. That's that's all I got to say. <laughs> okay. Um, and and I think your beard looks good. Okay. Per usual. I I hey, I You're appreciate that. The mustache is on point. Thank you. Um, but uh, no, nah, but listen though, for real. Um, <clears throat> see, as a Drake fan, right? Like I like I enjoy Drake's music. I'm right. talking to the ops right now, bro. This you're in opposition, bro. You are, but I feel like on this album we should be less ops. Like you, you enjoy Rich Flex, right? But I'm saying you're you did this to yourself. I didn't do this to you. Come on, man. Come on. We, listen, we both enjoy Rich Flex. Uh huh. Los, can't you do something for me? <laughs> no, no. Talk stop. to the ops next for me. No, Come stop on. trying to recreate what happened with the Kendrick. Come on. Band. Stop trying to recreate that. Come on. No, we're not. I know. Hey, here's, here's, a, here's a question. Here's a question about that track. Do you feel like do do you identify or do you do you agree with the do you think the memes about that track? Do you feel like Drake got a little too buttery on that part of the song? Dude, absolutely not. But again, I, I, it's just I actually, so I funny. actually agree. I, I I actually like that part of the song. I like it. Yeah, like bro, it just it's just so like people have run out of things to say about Drake, so now they just make up a thing that he's like being fruity. When it's like anyone else could do that and it's not fruity, like, oh, Chad, it's so zesty, right? Why did no one say that when we listened to the album? But you went on TikTok and some dude made a weird edit. And I love these guys. They think they're making fun of Drake, but in reality, they set up a camera and they're in the room twerking on the camera. You're a grown man. But you're making fun of Drake though, right? But yeah, no, go ahead. Go ahead. It, 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 it is i think the memes are funny but i did legitimate i do legitimately enjoy that part of the song and i do think it's it's a fun i do think it's a fun part i like that part yeah I, it, I, it, I love the opening i love the opening yeah. uh yeah opening's great i like the beat switches i like um you know drake and 21 savage i think they bring good chemistry off the bat mm -hmm. um and uh, and yeah i think it's a great great start to the record i'm glad you would you would enjoy it you enjoy it too um that track is hard major distribution is hard did you like on bs oh yeah yeah, oh, yeah. On BS is, on and BS I is like really too because we just skipped over major distribution. I like major distribution because it did one of those things where you think it's going to be a certain type of song, but then it switches. And he they did this a few times, which I yeah. like that because it's not nothing was really predictable in this in the album. Yeah, there were some there were some pretty good intros, and like what you said on that track, it has like that kind of big illustrious pretty intro, and it's really extravagant, and then uh, it just kind of goes into that, you know, low-key trap thing right after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah you know, there, there were some cool switches and stuff. What, what did you think of, uh, so, so here, here's a question, like, hmm. 3 a.m. On, on Glenwood, when 20 Minutes Savage is kind of like doing his Drake thing. You know, he's, yeah. he's like doing a Drake. What, what did you think of that track? When like 21 Savage is like, I'm just basically going to do a Drake diary type track here and, and see how it kind of pans out. Like, what did you think of that? See, I like 21 Savage a lot. Um, yeah. And I saw what you said about it, how it sounded kind of goofy. I think you just thought it sounded goofy because it's like he's not usually like that. He's just talking about like murdering and shit. Um, a little bit, yeah. I, I, was... I, think, I think vocally he just sounded a little out of his element. You know, because Twenty One Savage is not the most expressive guy, and I feel like that song kind of requires that that kind of Drake level of moodiness. You know, I'm not gonna lie. That beat when it came on, I was like, wish I was like wishing it was a Drake song. Um, it it, it kind of is, but <laughs> but just Twenty One Savage but doing it. <laughs> yeah, but I like it, and I you know, and I like Twenty One Savage. Uh, this might be like an unpopular opinion, but I like his uh, his album. Um, I forget which one it, what, what it's called. Oh, Issa. I like that. Even though people oh, okay. kind of shit on that. I actually like some of those songs. And he has songs kind of like that on there. But anyway. Yeah. Um, all right. So, all right. Yeah. So, so, so listen, we, we like the first three tracks. 
Right after that is Back Outside Boys. I like that track, the solo Drake track. I think that one's a solid one. I like and, that. You know, it's got li- it's got little Yachty in the background, kind of going crazy a little bit. Um, yeah, I think that I think that one is a solid one. For me, where the record starts to fall apart is I, I think Privileged Rappers. Now, did you fuck with that track? Dude, let's let's have sex in a bank, dude. That's one of my favorite songs on the album. What are we <laughs> talking about? I, I I think I think the thing about that track for me, and this is where we can start fighting. This is where a little bit vocally, I think Drake starts to get back into. I'm kind of emotionally checked out, Drake, um, which I have not liked very much from his past couple of records. On the first four tracks, I think he sounds way more animated, way more in your face, way more like he's he's hungry and he's like here to mess things up. And on Privileged Rappers, I think he kind of tones it down a little bit. Well, well, it's a different kind of vibe. I mean, he's he's say, he's literally saying, "Let's have sex in a bank." So this is more of like a, he's not trying to like I don't know this is it's 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 just a different vibe of a of of the song I don't know yeah I mean it's more low key um, I mean I don't I don't think the track is awful. Well, listen, it's, I've it's heard. Not, hold on, not, wait, I'm not going to skip past these subtle little jabs at Drake. I'm not. I'm not is, you don't have to. You don't have to skip anything. You know, we no, can no, keep no. talking about the track. I'm not trying to move on to the next track. No, no, no. This is the thing. I've heard yeah, you say this many times about. Oh, he's like. Oh, uh, he's he's um being lazy or he's like. Oh, he's like yeah, checked go, out or whatever. Go crazy. Go. But like, how, how how bro? How do you know? How his like he's mentally feeling about a song? I'm confused. It's not, it's not about him. How he mentally feels? Like I just I just hear in his voice, he does not sound as animated or as engaged on the song as he does on the past four songs, and that's all I'm saying. All right, so let me ask you this: because you love Kendrick Lamar so well, much, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, just yeah. love this guy. He can do I, no wrong, I, right? No, he can do wrong. I've rated some of his albums, kind of you know, some of his records, kind of mid. Damn, I don't really like Damn all that much. See, that doesn't good, even make sense because that's probably his best, one of his best. I know, that's you would think that's his best record, but, Dude, you know, whatever. I, that's fine, that's fine. We can get into this, that's fine. It, I Whatever. When Kendrick changes his voice and has 17 different voices, that's yeah. fine, right? That's okay. Some, Drake, um, some has, tracks uh, Drake get... d- d- ha- switches his voice a little bit, and now Drake is mentally checked out, and he's all these things. Do you see a little bit of uh, a little bias here? A little bit of a... Uh, it's not making a lot of sense, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, I want to hear I want to hear your answer to this one. Well, no, especially since I'm not saying that that is the case across the board on the entire record. I'm like literally singling this one track out as kind of having this Oh, no, no, no. This that's fine, though. But I'm so saying far. I've heard you say this on other albums and other songs. Okay. So that's what and I'm saying. Clearly, so I'm and, and clearly I'm not just applying that criticism across the board because I think there's – actually, I you know, that one track does stick out to me in that way. But the vast majority of the tracks here, I don't think that that's the case. In fact, I think the next couple of tracks – um the week late, you know, obviously hours in silence. I'm not crazy about, you know, but uh, spin out you, um, for example, I think, I think 21 Savage is kind of the weak link on that track because that's when we kind of start getting into more kind of like low key moody, like, you know, Drake kind of territory where I don't think 21 Savage makes as much sense. You know, I think 21 Savage makes sense on the cold blooded shit. I think that's where he's like in his element. But on a track like Spin Bout You, I think he sounds a little like a so you you know, think, fish out of you water. So you think Spin Bout You could have just been like a Drake solo? Or Maybe. Drake with someone else you know? or something? Maybe, yeah. Okay, I can kind of I can kind of see that. Um, but but again, though, Spin Bout You, I really liked it. The, 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 the hook, like I really, uh, I really like that song. I don't know, though. Mm-hmm. Let, 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 let's get into the tracks we disagree the most about. What do you? What the hell do you like? So, so this is where I feel pretty strong. Mm-hmm. What the fuck do you like so much about Hours in Silence, dude? Just the part where he's like, "I gotta turn my bitch up." That shit just makes it a good ass song right there. It doesn't matter what happens the rest of the five minutes, bro. <laughs> it doesn't matter, bro. So, so that one thing can happen, and the rest of the song can just be trash, but it's amazing. Well, no. I was saying if it is trash, but the rest of the song isn't trash. You just weren't listening, bro. You weren't Dude, listening. The, the Twenty One Savage song portion is bad. Well, it's that's not the good first singing. like minute. Like, let's talk about the last. But, four no, that's, minutes, that's like in the middle. That's like in the middle. And then the thing is, like after that, you have that one. You have that boring, long Drake sung Odyssey that goes nowhere and takes up most of the fucking song. Wait, like that could that could that could have lasted a minute and it would have been fine. But instead, it like goes on forever. 
Okay, but if that was the weekend, though, you'd be like, oh my god, dude, he's so, like, he's tapping into some shit we've never heard before. But because it's Drake, it's, oh, dude, what is this? It didn't go anywhere, bro. This is, like, ridiculous. The dude's pouring his heart out. And this is what you're saying, bro. Pouring his heart out? Did you even listen to the words, bro? I there swear to part, God, I feel like you don't even listen to this. There are parts on the record where I think Drake is pouring his heart out. I, th I think on the last track, he's, he's, uh, Pouring his heart. I, I think he's getting pretty raw and emotional and personal. I think on, um, even though there's kind of that Serena bar that I think is a little bitter, I think on Middle of the Ocean, he's uh, pouring his heart out. He's, you know, he's doing Diary Drake. He's doing personal, you know, sort yeah. of like check in mentally Drake. I think he's really kind of pouring his heart out on those tracks. To me, the vocals and the delivery and the delivery on the whole back end of Hours in Silence just felt like just boring, just felt soulless. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did see you on Twitter trying to uh, trying to get some Meg the Stallion fans and Serena Williams fans. I saw that, dude. That's oh, you oh, you saw that. I you saw, saw them trying to get, get, their, get their fans. Clever, trying to get their fans. Very clever, dude. <laughs> You're not fooling me. You can make me I, I, fool I don't Twitter. Think, I don't You're not fooling Serena me, bro. Williams fans give a shit about me. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine that's fine whatever okay. but like listen the meg the stallion line that wasn't even a meg the stallion line that could be applied no no don't it, okay no wait a second it's no, like a, a second. double you, triple no wait, entendre, no, wait a second. no wait a second no wait one second what wait one mean? fucking second you you're mean? gonna convince me that earlier what? that like oh every, everybody thought that cookie recipe was real everybody thought it was it was a report, it was a report on major news outlets but you're gonna fucking tell me yeah. right now it's like yeah. no 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 that's not what he meant he wasn't actually referencing the one rapper that everyone knows as being named Stallion. Well, hold on a he's second. Not, he's not doing that. He's not doing that. That's, well, that we, was just, that's just gonna, a misconception. Are we not going to talk about the facts here? That it was pr it was basically proven that she actually never got shot? Are we not going to... Okay, well, gonna... wait, wait, wait. Time, time. That's not, now you're actually saying he meant to say it. Well, so no. did he mean to reference her? Or, no, I'm saying or... that you could apply it to that, but it's like a triple entendre, though. Okay, so so so, so wait a second. It's, it's a triple entendre? It's a triple, wait, it's, it's, well, Okay, so we know the first meaning yeah. would be the, the literal thing that he's saying. Uh -huh. The second meaning would be the Megan the Stallion reference. What would the third meaning be if it's a triple entendre? Because <laughs> I don't know what you mean. What you think the first one is? I don't. What do you? You know what the word triple means? It means no, I three. Know, I know. So it's like we one, need three things. I, under, I I understand that, but I'm saying, what did you just say? The first one is what? The first one would be to read the lyrics that he said and take them literally. Okay, and what does the, that mean? The, in, and what does that mean? What does it mean? The the woman was getting shots, as in like to drink. Okay. Okay. Fine. When you, when you look, so so you just take the bar literally. Okay. So the, that would be other, so that would the be other, the first meaning. The second meaning would be the connection to Megan. What would the third one be if it's a triple on? The Tom third one would be people, uh, girls lying about getting like Botox and shit. That's what the third one would be. Like oh, she's, okay, okay. she's lying about it. It's a triple, bro. It's a triple. I've read the lyrics front to back twice, bro. Okay. It's okay, a triple. Okay. Now listen. I, we're not gonna get into the legality of this shit. I can pull up court documents. We could go this. We could make this a four hour could, stream. I'm not debating with you about whether or not Megan the Stallion got shot. <laughs> that's, that's not that's what I'm debating with you about. Yeah, but you seem very bothered by it. So I was like, Wait, you brought it up first? No, because I saw your tweet. I saw your tweet, or like you retweeted or something, and I thought okay. that I thought that was really like, dude, who? Why? Well, yeah, I, I just think it's well. Obviously, look. Let's let's come on. Let's not be stupid. Obviously, it, it's it's meant to reference Megan the Stallion. Like, obviously, it can have the surface level meaning about the butt shots and everything. Like, fine. Yeah. But like, come on. Like, it, she's still a stallion. She, she lied about getting shots. Come on. Come on, dude. Is this why? Is this? I mean, someone is very upset in my chat saying you don't review Tory Lane's albums. Is this why? I have reviewed Tory Lane's albums. I mean, they're not very good. Um, and, and I didn't really, and see, here's the thing. I didn't really review Tory's music like that before the Megan Thee Stallion thing. So it's, it's not like uh, mm. the, the shooting thing happened and then I stopped reviewing him altogether. I just didn't really think he was that interesting of an artist to begin with. That's, that, you know what? That's really crazy. But you, you somehow, somehow have this thing against Nav. You, you despise Nav, but you review all his shit. But Tory Lanez, I, you're I saying think, I think, as, I think who's Nav, better, Tory Lanez or Nav? Um, Tory, I think, is... See, here's the difference between Tory and Nav for me. Tory is kind of bad in a very unspecial, generic way that you can't really... <laughs> that you can't really put <laughs> wait, your finger on. Wait. You know? It's like... wait, wait No, no, no let, me, let me finish. 
in, in sort of like a non-specific generic way to where he doesn't really have a specific sound or vibe. Like you could put a gun to my head and I could not tell you what the fuck a Tory Lane song sounds like because a Tory Lane song doesn't fucking sound like anything. Like Nav, for example, though, Nav is kind of uniquely, especially bad. And I could actually pick Nav out of a crowd pretty quickly uh, because he does have sort of like a very unique uh, delivery and vocal tone and, you know, everything. You know what? I'm not even going to argue because we're talking about Drake here and Drake is obviously yeah. on a different level. But I, I like Tori's music. I don't uh -huh. I, I'm not going to I don't know what happened, but I'm, and I also like Nav's music. Okay. And I understand, oh, it's like I'm saying these things, and now people in the comments are going to be like, oh, dude, yeah, well, explains a lot, bro. You like Nav. Ha -ha. That's fine, dude. But Nav? Nav gets very fucking deep. He gets very deep. It's very, it's very, you got to look within. What's, when the, you what's the deepest thing Nav has ever said? Dude, the intro to his last album, he said, I got me. He can count on, him, on himself. Like, that's some deep shit, bro. That's it? I just asked you what this man's deepest bar is, and you said he, he's got himself? Is the deepest thing that... Dude, see what is I mean? Is the deepest thing this man's ever said? It's not the deepest. I would have to really sit here and think about that, but I'm just throwing something out there, bro. All right? Because at the end of the... at the, <laughs> the Dude, don't... I'm, I can see your camera, bro. I can see... Yeah, I know you can. I literally turned my video on. I know you can fucking oh, see oh, me. Good. I, I okay, know, good. I know you're I seeing... Thought... I, I want you to see my expression and yeah. see that I am looking at you and thinking you are being ridiculous right now. That is what I want. All right, you know what? Let's move past this because I'm going to get... Do you want me to I'm turn my start... camera off so that you cannot see how I'm reacting to you? You know what? No. Go ahead. Just keep going. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> okay. So we've, we've talked about hours in silence. What, uh, my, my next least favorite track on the record, what, what did you think of Circo Loco? And we, and we don't need to get back into the Megan bar because honestly, I feel like there's so many things about the track that suck that have nothing to do with the Megan bar. Um, <clears throat> I think that, um, when I, I, I think I like this song. Um, and I think it's, I think it's cool to, um, and people, people might disagree with this because, you know, whatever, but I even like the Drake song, uh, staying alive, the staying alive shit. I just like when, when an artist, not just Drake, but someone does like a version of an old, like hit song. Mm -hmm. Even if, even if you're like, Oh dude, it didn't sound as good. Like I don't think anything will sound as good as the original, like hit song, but like just doing that is just cool. So I, I'm not going to shit on it. Cause I want like more of those, you know, to, uh, chat that's not a sample bro it's called what is it called like you know music shit it's like a so there, there's like, okay so so if you the the what happens in the instrumental would be a sample that's a sample i'm talking about him and, singing. What, and what drake and what drake is doing singing and working it into the track is an interpolation okay yeah that's what the word is that's what the word is. although although it is kind <laughs> of it's, it's kind of a unique it, it, you know usually an interpolation melodically is employed over an entirely different kind of track and that sort of thing um, whereas with this, he's actually literally singing the melody to that original song over the sample that it was literally meant to be over. I mean, I guess it technically counts, but it's, it's kind of, it's a little bit different because, you know, he's, he's literally reminding people of the song in two ways of the way the sample is kind of running in the background and with him, like literally singing the chorus melody over the top of it on the track too. So, you know, I, I wouldn't say it's a cover. Um, but, uh, you know, it's like, it's like his own little revision in a way. Which, like I said, I like when artists do that, so I'm not going to hate on it for someone to attempt someone attempting that. Um, okay, well, I, I I can do that because I don't think it's done very well, and I mean just just as kind of like a baseline, I feel I I I feel like the preeminent like hip hop Daft Punk crossover, you know, has has got to be Kanye, you know, obviously, um, you know, flashing lights, uh, that sort of thing. Not not flashing lights. Um, what the, what fucking track is it? Uh, off of graduation. Uh, it's um fucking uh escaping me right now. Um uh, it's gonna pop up in chat in a second. Yeah, I can't believe yeah, stronger. I can't believe we Yeah, yeah stronger, stronger. That was but, my, uh, but yeah, that I mean I, I, I feel like what Kanye chat. does with the Daft Punk sample on Stronger is so much more creative and in depth and he like really kind of chops it up in an interesting way. Whereas like Drake is just kind of like letting that horn sample run in the background, and then at some point he's just kind of like half-heartedly singing the chorus and it's like whatever you know like I, I don't really feel like it's an exciting an exciting version 
I feel like if, if you're going to touch a song like that, you should kind of give it your all, you know? I, I, I get I get what you're saying. Um, I think maybe when Kanye did that, it was more of a big deal. And I feel like now there's just a lot of older songs that are just coming back into new songs that it's not like a, you know, it, that wasn't like a big deal to Drake. That's not like a big... I get what you're saying. You're like, oh, treat it like a big deal, but it just isn't. Um, you well, know, maybe you shouldn't I, do it. I mean, what was that? What was that fucking song? This is th this is like the worst version of like an older song that I've heard. Is what what Jack Harlow did, uh, hmm. where it was like basically oh, with, with like the Fergie track and yeah, the, yeah. No, that was pretty awful. It yeah, was, was basically just the Fergie track with him saying a word in between. Yeah, and, and wasn't that also the track where he rapped about his semen? That was. I think he he said sweet semen. I think he said yeah. that. Yeah, it was. But weird. like, I, besides that, I, you know, um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, you know, I, I I am not crazy about treacherous twins, but I'm not. I don't hate it either. I'm just a little on the fence with it. I don't know if you have any strong thoughts on it that you want to throw out there about that. I mean. I it's just one of those songs like I, like I was singing it to my dog the other day. I was like, yeah, you're you know you're my treasured little <laughs> twin. Like that's it. Um, okay. I'm glad the song has touched you in that way. Yeah, uh, that's my twin. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> things pick up more on Pussy and Millions. I, I think that track's great with Travis. That's that's top three for me on the album. That's top three. okay. That's right, top that's three. I really like that one. Yeah, no, I, I think Drake and 21 Savage come through with a strong energy on there, and Travis does great on the back end, and I think the, the beat's great as well. It's one of the more epic beats on the record. What I have a problem with on social media is people going, oh, yeah, the album's all right. Uh, Travis saved the album and had the best <laughs> verse on the whole album. That, to me, is insanity, and I'm glad that you didn't say that. Um, no, I, I don't think that. I think Travis's verse is fine, but it just, for the most part, just kind of sounds like an average Travis verse. Like, I feel like yeah, yeah. the Drake verses on Rich Flex, on BS, uh, Middle of the Ocean, the last of track, um, all, all those tracks are way better verse-wise than what uh, uh, Travis does on, on that track. I think that's kind of a silly thing to say. Yeah, yeah. Um, Broke Boys is a banger. I, lo I love that song. That, that's a great track. Uh, middle of the Ocean, I talked about that one earlier. Like, you know, uh, to me, that's when Drake is kind of in his element. You know, he's in that emotional little kind of diary, I'm going to check you up on everything kind of element. You know, I, I did think the Serena bar was a little weird and bitter, but, you know, I mean, that's that's kind of his vibe. That's kind of him. Um, I, I feel like that was kind of you one of his... You know what I like, though? You know, you know what I what? like? And he and he he did this in... Uh, if you're reading this, it's too late, but... When Drake is being like, he's the one throwing shots and he's talking shit, I like that. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't mind because it wasn't really insulting. Sir. It, it wasn't insulting her. It was this guy did something, apparently. I mean, I don't know if anyone knows what it is, but I like when Drake's throwing shots and he's talking shit. That's like my favorite version of Drake. Okay. But yeah, go ahead. I don't know. I mean, given that he's kind of gone out with her a couple times and then she kind of moved on to this other guy, it just kind of seems like a little a little bit of a, I'm just like an, an angry ex-boyfriend sort of thing. <laughs> Bro, I mean, ha have you ever been an angry ex-boyfriend? No, actually, no. I, I don't really give a shit who my exes are dating. That's fair. Okay. That's fair. I, no, um, I, agree. I agree. That's fair. All right. Uh, so uh, what what did you think? I didn't really care for this track. What did you think of Jumbo Tron shit popping? Wait, let me play the intro to this. Yeah, play, play it up. To, to me, it's a track where he just kind of sounds like he's doing a young thug thing. I don't really care for it too much. Yeah, I didn't understand that you're saying he's doing a young thug thing. I think that... Um... Yeah, it's flowed up a few points. It kind of sounds like that, especially around the middle. Yeah, see, I don't want to just disagree to disagree here, but I gotta, I gotta completely disagree with you. Um, Go I for think it. that, uh, <clears throat> I think that this song, wait, is this the one with Drake by himself? Yeah, Drake's by himself on that one. Yeah, never mind. I don't, um, I don't know. I, I, 
I think that that's the song I've listened to the least on the album. If oh, I, okay. Yeah, I think I think that is. I'm not saying I'm Chad. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's the least. Uh, he's, hey, he's not saying it's bad. Uh-huh. Don't say it's a bad song. He's not saying it's bad. He just says not listen to it as much. Okay. Yeah, because the next song, more M's. That was the, fire. That song is great. The way Drake comes in is crazy. Yeah, no, that track is, you know, that track to me kind of gets back to the kind of cold, murderous vibe of the f- first few tracks. And I, and I think it's, uh, I, th- I think that's a good energy. I think it's a good pace for the record. I, I think that's, I think that's the kind of vibe where Drake and 21 Savage work together the most sensibly. You know, obviously the whole album couldn't be that vibe, but. You know, that's where I feel like they're they're most on the same wavelength. Because I, I feel I feel like they, you know, I, I feel like they complement each other best in that way. Because Twenty One Savage, after a while, he can, he can be a little monotonous because he's not the most you know expressive rapper out there. And Drake, I think, needs somebody to come on a track with him and just you know give him some kind of tough guy credibility. Because obviously, you know, Twenty One Savage comes in with way more street cred than he does, and uh, you know, he gives Wait. him the chance to uh, what. <laughs> I love these. I love these random things you just throw in there, like this, this, this bait. I'm not falling for it, dude. Okay. Who do you, who do you think has more who's shooters, got Drake more or Twenty One Savage? Drake than Drake. Who's, who's got know. more shooters? Does Twenty One? Who has more bodies under their belt? Do you think Drake or Twenty One Savage? Who has more bodies, bro? Yeah, first who has more all, bodies? First of all, I, I'm not gonna answer that question on stream. I'm not gonna answer. What, that. What, 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 while Twenty One Savage was putting guys six feet underground, Drake was on Degrassi. So so let me get this straight. So you believe <laughs> that's fine. So so Twenty One Savage can say whatever he wants, and it's oh my god, he's doing it. Drake, anyone else says shit? It's oh no, it's bullshit. That's basically no, Drake. What it is. Drake, can, Drake can say whatever he wants. I, I think Drake Drake doesn't say the same kind of things that Twenty One Savage does. Like if you, if you just take a random any random Drake track and then any random Twenty One Savage track, listen, th- they say very different things. Like they, they don't say the same shit. Listen. Just because someone's on a on a hit television show, uh-huh. okay, because they're trying to pay, uh, you know, for their for their family, you know, I think his mom. He said things in the songs about his mom having medical bills, stuff like that. You know, you don't know what was going on behind the scenes, bro. You don't know, dude. And I'm not gonna sit here and act. Hey, oh that, yeah, he was on Degrassi, was, so no, dude. Was, I'm pretty sure that dude, uh, Steve from Blues Clues, was like a serial killer or some shit, bro. I don't know. <laughs> something was weird with that guy, or no, the other guy who took over. Something. I don't, dude. The point is, we don't know, bro. We don't know. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure we definitively know that nobody who ever hosted Blues Clues was a serial killer. I think we know that. <laughs> I think we. Wait, I, no, think we I, I think, think we definitively know there that. There was one guy. There's something weird happened. I think it was the uh, the third one. I don't, dude. It doesn't matter, bro. No, I, I don't. Th- I don't think there's ever been a murderer hosted. Google Blue it. Things. Google I'm, it. I'm serious here. I. I, I no, Google. Okay. It. And I'll, all right, Steve, I will. No, no. I will Google the first it. First, Steve is good. Steve's good. I, Steve's, I, I, I think will. It was I will Google it. Oh, it was Google. the guy who played Barney, bro. Oh, okay. So, the, so not Blues Clues at all. It was not Blues Clues, but I was just giving okay. a point, like a kid's show, you know. There's there's people doing crazy shit. Okay, I, I mean that's that's fine, but that's different than saying like this this guy from Blues Clues might have been a murderer. We don't know. We we don't. We honestly we don't know. We really have no idea. We have no clue. No. When, no, when in fact we, we do point, actually we do point. there there are things that we do know, and we do know that no one who has hosted Blues Clues has murdered anyone. <laughs> Wait a second. Okay, and that's all I'm saying is fine, fine. All I know is this. You after this after this little Discord right here, you might shut the camera off, take your hat off, and put a wig on and go into the street and attack people. We don't <laughs> know this. We don't know what happens behind the cameras, bro. We can just ass- we we can assume, okay? And what you're doing, you're assuming that Drake always oh, on Degrassi, so he's going home and he's like picking flowers outside. No, dude. No, no, I don't think he's picking flowers outside. I just don't think he's murdering anyone. Hey, dude, again. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying anything on stream. I don't know. I don't know anything. I, I, just... I don't think Drake, I don't think Drake was on Degrassi. Here, here, okay. Here's, here's literally what I am saying. I have a hard time believing Drake while he was on Degrassi and even today, um, was, uh, grip in the Chrome and uh-huh. filling, uh, various bodies in the six full of lead and okay. then going home to his mom. So, uh, or for for whatever was dinner that evening. So you don't believe that, but you believe Twenty One Savage, who was literally eat, eating biscuits and sipping tea. You believe 
that he was out there going crazy, but Drake, oh no, there's no way Drake could have been doing anything involved in anything. All right, bro, that's but, but, fine, but, but, dude. But, but he, 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 literally, he literally did not sort of spend his teen years in the UK. All right, you know what? That's, you know what? Fine. Fine. I didn't know that. So. Yeah, he, he, he didn't just like move over from the UK recently. I mean, I said that in the review. That's kind of a joke. He, he was just born there. And that's just kind of. Again, here, you're saying jokes and then not specifying yeah. it's a joke. Just like your bullshit Drake but, video but I, with the vegan cookie wait, wait, wait. recipe. It's, it's so obviously, it, it's shit, obviously a joke. But did, did, you, did you think that that was a real photo of him in the, in, in the soldier's outfit? <laughs> With 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 the hat on that I used in the review, did, did you think that was a real picture? Did you think that was like a real picture of him being a part of the Queen's Guard? No. Like ob obviously it was a joke. Yeah. No. I I knew that, bro. I knew that. I knew that. I'm saying that. Uh... All right. Let's move on, bro. I'm, let's move on from this. Yeah. Sure. Let's move on. From um, this. More M's is great. We talked uh -huh. about 3 a.m. on Glenwood. I, I want to talk more about the closer. I, I, I want to talk specifically about the closer. Mm, um, mm, great, I, I feel great like track, it's a great track. I was, okay, so you like it, but like, wh what do you like about it? Because I, th I think that's a pretty emotional track for Drake. I think that's a song that, in in a way, it does kind of um, contextualize some of the toxicity of the record because it seems like his actions and behavior kind of put him in a position where he is kind of you know alone. Um, you know, this person sort of like leaves, um, and you know, it's, uh, and there's obviously like a bit of a disagreement between them and it's just not working out. Like, you know, what, what, what did you think about that, well, that whole track? Like not just how it sounded, but like the meaning of it. Here's how I interpret this. And I know some people look at things, um, they'll, they'll read into this differently. The way I look at it is this Drake being alone is his choice. It's not, oh, he can't find someone. He could definitely find someone easily. Yeah, I don't but, think it has anything to do with him finding or not being able to find anybody. No, no. But, but my point is, I think he, I think what he's saying is he's at the point where it's like, uh, he, I think he might truly think that like, it's not possible. Like that. You think, you think Drake thinks it's not possible for him to, to what, find somebody? That will, you know, that he, yeah, like, tr like that'll truly be, yeah, I don't know. I, I, that's, that's the vibe I'm, that's the vibe I'm getting is that maybe the ones that he would have wanted to be with or it's over. Like he can't, it can't go back to that. That's, that's, I mean, that's how I look. That's how I see it. Uh, <clears throat> do, do, when, when, when Drake, when Drake is asking for what he did wrong, do you think he thinks he did anything wrong or? Is, is he just trying to desperately keep the relationship together or <laughs> like we gotta have a deep conversation here man we got to talk about some of these tracks in depth right um I, do, do i say so what was that question again so, so there's all the the kind of the repetitions of drake saying like tell me what did i do wrong to yeah. like the person like you know do, do you feel like drake is missing that person he wants them to stay um what if, if drake did anything wrong what do you think he's doing wrong there's, there's no right answer to this question it's just sort of like you know it's just feels i think that's i uh, i don't know i think someone like drake i don't i think it's very hard for someone like him to have a real relationship um i think that's the case for like many celebrities uh or you know famous people um, so I think that, I think that Drake has just probably gone through shit that, uh, that any of us have gone through kind of like with girls and whatnot, but it's like, there's like this different thing. There's like this other element to it. I don't know. He's tried to say this in many songs. There's like some, there's something else to it. I don't know. It's like, he, it's like he literally can't do it or something like he literally he can't be in a relationship i don't know i don't know am i chat am i chat help me out here bro do you do you feel do when, when you think of that do you feel like that's sad for him you're you're in a relationship you enjoy being in a relationship right yeah do you do you think do you think it's sad that drake can't be in a relationship <sighs> it's 
<laughs> do I? <laughs> do you think it's said? Um, no, I don't think it has to be. I don't think the single life is all that bad. I mean, what, like, enjoy yourself. Just enjoy your fucking life. Enjoy being free. You you can do whatever you want. Yeah, I don't know. This has become like some kind of therapy thing. I'm like thinking like deeply now. Well, Drake is Drake is an emotional guy. I mean, we should discuss his emotions. I, listen, I th- I think that at at the end of the day, um, Drake and not just this song, but on many albums, has expressed like, you know, kind of like a hey. Even someone like me, you know, he's one of the biggest artists, you know, whatever. Like, I'm going through this shit, too. So I think that's where, like, his... Uh, I think that's where, like, a lot of people like him. Because it's like... This dude could be rapping about random places that no one knows what the, what they are. Diamonds, all this shit. But it somehow he's still relatable, you know, 10 plus years into this. And I think that's why Drake is, you know, still on top. And, and that's and that's like you. You're, you're, you're a big, successful streamer. And you're still relatable. And... You, you're you're jet setting your own places people have never been Paris, and um, you know you're just uh you're you're just out here just like Champagne Poppy. <laughs> it, I mean that literally doesn't make sense, but I appreciate it. Uh... <laughs> did, did, were, were you there to shoot a music video for your new hit single Guidos in Paris? I was actually there for to shoot something. Oh, okay, cool. I was there to shoot something. I like um, it. it was my Instagram it, pictures. So thank you for bringing more, thank you for bringing more Italian representation to Twitch. I are you Italian? I am, yeah. I, dude, dude, I I like. Oh, oh, hold on. This is what I was gonna say because I, I was like trying to think what I was gonna say. What does Drake have to do? Because after all of this, it sounds like you like most of the songs. Am I right? I, uh, let me see. Like, uh, there are songs I think are okay. There are songs that I hate. There are songs that I uh, love. And when I averaged them all out, it was just, you know, a bit of a mixed bag. But overall, I thought the record was decent. So what does Drake have to do, in your opinion, just for you? Because you, it's this is just your review, right? Yeah. Hey, for for you to give Drake a nine or a ten on an album, what would have to happen for that? I mean, I, I, th- I think I think, score? I think it would just have to be a little more consistent. I mean, if if we, you know, th- there are a couple of tracks on this thing I would lob off. You know, I feel like uh, the three AM on Glenwood was not necessary. We could just we could have gotten rid of Jumbotron. That could have gone. Um, Circo Loco was a non-starter out of the gate. And hours of silence, I think, could have been cut down a little bit toward the end, and and all of that together, and and you know, honestly, while the end part, I wasn't crazy about it. I think really the biggest fucking you know glaring flaw in that record is is the part where Twenty One Savage sings. Um, <laughs> like if we had maybe just made that a Drake track and uh, had that transition into a just a shorter outro, I, I think those handful of things alone would have made this record at least like closer to an eight. Listen, what? A lot of people disagree with your rating. I just want. I just want to. That's fine. People, a lot of people, people disagree with your rating. I would. Hey, I would l- say listen, most. Listen, listen. I, I, I know. I know you're like, hey, how, what, what does he need to do to get toward an eight and nine? Like, let's let let's appreciate the fact that from Drake record to Drake record, okay, we we literally went from what a three to a not good to a six. You gave that's, CLB a three. There's yeah. like that's literally insane, bro. That's insane. There's so insane. many awful tracks on it. Way too sexy is one of his worst songs. All right, listen, listen. So one there's... song on an album makes listen, an... Listen. Dude, dude, no, no, it doesn't. I'm just saying. What, I'm just, what did I'm you just give saying, to Pimp a Butterfly? That... What did you give to Pimp a Butterfly? That's that's a ten. That's a fucking ten. That's a ten. A ten. Do you know how many skippable songs are on that album? You just like, like oh, dude, it was like cool. Like at the end, like he like interviewed <clears throat> Tupac. Really, bro? Yeah, that part is cool, but I love the actual content of the songs and the record. Dude, 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 dude. First of all, damn is better than than to Pimp Butterfly. It's it's catchier. That doesn't mean it's better. What so then what I don't understand what makes good music if it's not catchy and I'm confused. Like 
Well, it's, you know, like jazz music isn't necessarily catchy in the same way a pop song is catchy. Would you say jazz is like inherently like more trash than pop music because it's not as catchy? The jazz music does like a different thing, though. It's like it's like just but it's still music, though. Yeah, but there's no singing in it. Like there's no it's just are you talking about like just a saxophone and, and piano? Okay, but you, you asked you asked me you asked yeah. me about catchiness in music as if catchiness yeah. is the sole purpose well, and goal catchy, of music. Well, catchiness it's not always. is you're you singing along. It's not, it's not it's not always. I'm saying it's you singing along. Okay, so all I'm saying is like, you know, there are there are characteristics to music that can make it appealing beyond it just being catchy. So t- like like what? Well, I mean, the compositional elements, the aesthetic elements, what, what is it saying in the lyrics? What is the meaning behind it? Like, what is it trying to get across? So the, so, so you would rather, so you'd rather listen to something that isn't, isn't even, it doesn't sound great. It just has good meaning over no, so, something, something that's something, poppy. Something could, sound, something could sound good, but not necessarily be like as hooky as like, I don't know what, a uh, call me maybe from Carly Rae Jepsen. You know, I mean, maybe one of the catchiest songs of the 2010s. But the thing is, like, you know, in comparison, would you say that Hours in Silence is inherently a worse song than Call Me Maybe because it's nowhere near as fucking catchy? No, I would argue it's a better song. Well, why would you argue it's a better song? It's inherently, like, it's objectively not as catchy of a track. That song is never going to accrue as many streams as Call Me Maybe or stick in the heads as many people yeah. as Call Me Maybe because that, that hook is way fucking catchier. But you're saying that that song is better? But, Why is it better if it's not as catchy? But I didn't say that songs are just better because they're catchier. I'm saying, what would you rather listen to? No, that, that literally like was your argument. No, though. I'm saying, like, what you're, would you're you? Just... I'm saying you. What would you yeah. rather listen to? Something that's catchy. I, I don't. Ha- I don't have a preference. I think both things can be good in different contexts. So with like, your, if you're I don't, driving I don't, I don't in the inher- car, I don't inherently prefer music that is or is not instantly catchy. I'm just saying there's more than one way to skin a cat, aka make a good song. Okay. I, that's why I'm asking you. When yeah. you go, you're sitting in the car. You got the you, you plugged in your phone, right? You're gonna play yeah. music. Are you gonna yeah. play a random song off of "To Pimp a Butterfly" like out of context, or are you gonna play like a catchy like song? Like, what are you? What do you want to listen actually, to? It actually depends on the drive. Like, if I ha- if I if I have a long drive ahead of me, and I actually have the time to uh-huh. listen to "Pimp a Butterfly" all the way through, I'll do it. But if I'm on, on like if I'm on a short drive or whatever, I'm just kind of going from point A to point B, and I only have so much time. I'll put on just I'll just put on a banger. Wait, so you'll put on an, an, the entire to Pimple Butterfly on a long drive? Yeah, because because it's like it's it's a story album. It's like an entire. It's like a fucking movie. You know what, Chad? I don't want you to think I'm hating on that album, but I just think that it's um. I think I think it's one of those things where it's like. I don't know. You're like, a, you're, like a ner- just... you're like, you know, you just, it's, it's, it's like arguing like, like a critically acclaimed movie. Like, I don't think that the movie, um, what the fuck is it called? Chat, what's that movie with the, uh, it takes place in like China and it won like an, an Academy Award, but I like, I literally, ugh, fuck, what is it? It's not Avatar, bro. What? Oh, Parasite. <laughs> Dude, everyone Parasite? loves everyone. Did, yeah. didn't Par- Wait, isn't Parasite a Korean movie? or? Wait, what? Is, is Parasite a Chinese movie or is it a Korean movie? Uh, someone said Chinese. I, I think it's Korean, I think. But either way. Um, okay. Yeah, it's, it, it's p- people, are, people are saying it's a Korean movie. I'm pretty I, sure it's I Korean th- Yeah, I think it's Korean. Um, I, 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 I I cannot speak to that movie, not because uh, I dislike it or whatever. I, I just don't watch that many movies, honestly. It's it's kind of embarrassing, but um, but I, I go on, go go make your well, point. Well, no, no, all my all my point was that the way that I and I think most people like to enjoy music or like things on TV or whatever is like I don't think, and I love like amazing like written movies and stuff like that. But if I'm if I'm throwing something on, most of the time, bro. I'm not going to have the time to like listen to like a two hour thing or like a one hour thing or watch like a two hour thing. So I think like most people consuming music are just want to hear like, I don't know, like hit songs. Like they want to hear catchy songs. So like, why, why does this, why, why is this like an insane thing? Cause ever, cause we've talked about this before. I don't, Say 
look, I get, I get the premise of what you're saying. I mean, yeah. listen, um, I this this is like the kind, of, you know, I like uh, whatever crazy, not catchy, pretentious music, so on and so forth, and I'm like a you know super hard critic and this and that. But honestly, truthfully, truthfully and honestly, when I'm watching like TV, when I'm chilling out and I'm watching TV, I I, I just watch shitty reality shows honestly, because I'm, I'm thinking about music all day. I don't want to think about some kind of deep, stupid, uh, you know, amazing, profound television show. I just want to watch a bad reality show. Just take a break, not think too much. And, and, and I get it. There's some people that approach music like that. They just want to play some poppy shit that feels good in the background. Well, well and, hold on, hold on, hold you know, on, hold on a second though. I'm not, what? I am in no way saying that this album is just, oh, some random catchy fucking Carly Rae Jemps. I'm not saying that. There's fucking good ass lyrics in this shit. I'm not I'm not I'm not saying this applies to the album that we're talking about. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying, not saying that, there's, that like, either. there's different levels to what people kind of demand or expect from the media that they consume. And while there are super deep and profound TV shows that I do like, when I'm just casually looking to unwind after I've done after I'm done working uh, after a, a, a long day in the music review minds of overthinking whatever fucking album it is I'm talking about, um, I just don't want to think too much about whatever fucking TV show I'm watching, and I want to watch Love After Lockup. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Listen, I, again, so besides just being like, oh, yeah, take this song off, take this song off, is there anything that you could say for, like, a new album? What yeah. would have to come out for you to be like, oh, you know what, dude? Fuck, man. Drake did it. That's a nine out of ten for me, or a ten out of ten for me. What would it? What would you have to hear? Like, what kind of album? No, I mean, I, I don't think. You know, listen, I, I don't think like there's some kind of like perfect record hidden in uh, Drake, like suddenly making a metal record or something like that. You know what I mean? I think Drake has all the characteristics that an artist uh, needs to have in order to like make much better albums, which has been so aggravating for me when he's come out with shit that I think is mid over the past couple of years, because he has a distinct sound, a distinct style and voice. He has, um, you know, a lyrical style, uh, that mm -hmm. people sort of instantly recognize. Uh, he has due to his connections in the industry and his budgets, like probably unlimited resources in terms of the producers he could have access to, the writers he could have access to, the features he could have access to. Uh, he could be making way more ambitious and better music than he is. And that's not a slight to this record over here because I think this album was a breath of fresh air. He really took a risk on this record. He did something cool. He did something fun on this album. He sounds like he's having fun on this album. Like, thank fucking God. Because the past couple of Drake records have been so fucking devoid of fun. This record was so fun in its best pockets. And he sounds like he's having fun on the best parts of the album. Um, you know, I, I feel like, and, and, and honestly, like, that's how a lot of Drake's older records used to be. Like, of course, like, you know, Take Care had its, like, moody moments, but there were a lot of fun tracks on there, like headlines and so on and so forth. Like, he's coming back to making fun bops that have a lot of energy and, like, you know, he's playing around a little bit. Yeah, that, that part that people are making fun of on the front end is, like, a little buttery and so on and so forth. But that part is fun. And there's many other parts of the uh, record that are fun, too. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like Drake kind of being in the position that he is uh and and having kind of the sway in the audience that he does can be doing better to just be kind of fucking entertaining like fucking entertain us i don't want to fucking you know uh hear you just like auto-tune moaning for four fucking minutes into the atmosphere like come on give me a fucking bop so it's that sounds like an 8.5 or 9 out of 10 for you that that i mean you just described the album and 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 look it's not that he hasn't made music that I enjoyed so much before because, you know, I think if you're reading This Is Too Late is great. I love that record. Mm -hmm. I think that record's fantastic. I think that record is bangers on bangers and even the moody spots hit and uh, it's really consistent. You know, th there's there's very little content on that record in terms of just like stuff that I find to be completely a snooze. And on, even on this record, even though that is more so the case for this album, it's only a couple spots. It's a few pockets here and there. This album is the most fun record Drake has put out in a while, in my opinion. So... I guess, I guess, I guess we can, I, I don't know, bro. I guess we could leave it there. I still, I feel like I haven't got a straight answer, but, um, yeah, because I, I don't think there's, I don't think there's a really clear cut answer to the question you're asking, honestly. Like I, I don't have like a rubric or, or sort of like the perfect Drake record idealized in my mind that he has to do. You know what I mean? Like not, even, could, just, not even just that, but the fact that all these great things you just said, but it's still a six. Like a six out of ten. If well, you I take didn't a go, test I didn't and you go, do six out of ten, over, that's a failure, bro. Go, 
that's that's no no it's 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 not not at least in my in my rating scale anything above a five is i i enjoyed it to some degree Mm -hmm. anything below a five means i hated it and a five is like you know on on you know the fence okay it's 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 not it's not like a grade like you're passing a fucking class it's not the same okay all right i mean I mean, we can, I, you know, I don't, is, is there anything I, I chat, you guys are literally fucking crazy, bro. What were we going to say? Is there anything? What is there anything? What else I want to say? Uh, before, before we, before, before we did, is there any, is there anything else? Uh, I like you and, and, and you're, and you're definitely, you're definitely Drake and I'm 21 Savage. Dude. I can't. I can't keep doing this, bro. Before I before I, before I go before I before I go, can you be like, Fantano? Can you do something for me? Can you do that? Come on, dude, can you do it one time I, before no, we go? No, I, dude, I, no, Come I on, do it! No, Don't be no, a fucking no, pussy. No, do it! No, I did no, it for no. you earlier. Don't be a fucking pussy. Dude, dude, do it! Dude, no, you know what? No, I. I did it for you refused, earlier. Do I it! Refuse to be on fucking TikTok. Do it! Stop being a fucking pussy and do it! No. Do it. No. Do it. Dude. You're not going to do it? Dude. Look yes. at everybody in chat. They want you to do it. Chat what wants it? you to fucking do it. Come on. Look at this scenario right now. You're screaming into a mic. Do it. You're, you've been screaming the whole time. All you do is scream. That's your brand. I have, dude, I have my he- uh, noise canceling. I don't know how loud I am. That's not my fault. All right. Okay. This Why isn't. Says that? I don't know how loud I am. I got my noise canceling on. Okay. Come on. Do it. I don't even know what. Are, what are you saying to do? Just say Fantano. Can you do something for me? Yeah, you know? yeah. You that, fucking that whole wish. Part. You fucking I wish. I did it for you. No, I did you it for you earlier. Say that shit. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I said it for you. Wait, right. hold on a second. Is, wait, are you not saying this part because because you think it's fruity? It's not fruity. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not saying this because me and you did not go in a war together. Uh, uh, we didn't do that, okay? That's I don't think, I don't think we're in a war. We're, brother, we're brothers in arms. No, we're, we're my a, I, All right. I got to go because I, ha- I have to do something right now. Oh, you're, you're, you're cutting out. I have out. to do something. You're, you're, cut, you're cutting out of doing this? You're not going to do this? I don't, even know what you're, I don't even know what you're saying. Like, I, I can't. say, Fantano, can you do something for me? Can you talk to the ops next for me? Come if on. you... Like, so if I'm, if I'm, if I'm walking around and I'm, and I'm walking around... Do you get it? Wait, sorry, sorry. Repeating, you were breaking up. If I'm, so every you're, time you're still, I don't, I don't know why you're breaking. You're still, you're breaking up all of a sudden. What do you mean? What do you mean I'm yeah, breaking you're, up? You're, okay, now you're not breaking up. Now you're back. Okay, I don't know why. If I'm, right? Fuck, you, you, your audio keeps breaking up. Why are your audio breaking up? All right, I'm gonna sing it. I'm gonna sing. It. You ready? Okay. F- Sup. Why, why is this audio breaking? I can't, I can't even hear him. Was I can't even good? fucking hear him. What the fuck is going on? I can't. Even, are you doing this on purpose? All right, yo, I gotta go, bro. You're but fucking yo, doing this. Was, you did was, that shit on purpose, you fucker. You fun. Fun. You're, you're cutting was, your shit. Look, I can hear you this, smiling through the fucking was, microphone this was because really you did fun, that on bro. fucking. You're the biggest go. fucking troll. I gotta go. On the fucking. You're such a fuck. You're such a fuck. I'll see you later, bro.